Hey, this is Ken Fennett at Capital Vintage Tutoring. And everyone always freaks, freaks, freaks about on the Series 7 about break-evens and options and all that. Relax about the options. I'm just going to show you break-evens, okay? Break-evens are easy. It's not giving any secrets. But people freak about break-evens all the time. And that is the game. You want to find it. So I'm going to put how to get break-evens on basically all the option problems in here in this video. Okay, we're starting with the basic shit. Remember, if you buy a call or sell a call, it doesn't freaking matter. Break-even doesn't matter, right? In the money's up, it doesn't matter. Out of the money's down. That's not what we're talking about, but I throw it in there anyway. Break even when you buy a call or sell a call, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's going to be straight plus premium. So for both of these, the break even is 54. It's always going to be straight plus premium. Whenever you buy a call or sell a call by itself, you see there's no stock position. It's always going to be straight plus premium. Every time, never even have to think about it. Now, I changed the color just so you know I changed the options here. So buy an ABC 50, put it four. Sell an ABC 50, put it four. And the money's below the strike. We all know that. It doesn't matter. Buy or sell. And the premium doesn't matter. But what's the break even? When you have a put, when you buy or sell a put, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, it's strike minus premium. It's 46. No matter what. Okay? It is always, when you buy a put or sell a put by itself, it is always strike minus premium. So that's why you always hear call up, put down. Right? Call up means strike plus premium. Put down means put minus premium. That's when they're by themselves. That is literally, boom, you should be moving on to the next question. Then if you want to figure out profit and loss, you're going to bake, base it off the break even anyway. Okay. Okay. So these are the hedging problems. Okay. The hedging problems. Okay. So these are the hedging problems. Okay. Super easy. These are the hedging ones. This is, this is a protective put. The blue is protective put. The green is a cover call. The red is a, is a protective call. Sorry. And the whatever reddish blood colored, whatever that is, that's a covered put. So here's the easy way to remember. Always remember this. Whenever you're doing stock, whenever there's stock involved, it's stock plus or minus premium. Now, remember, it's not it's not strike, stock plus or minus. Super easy, okay? Remember, it's a stock price. This, it's the market price of the stock, not the option, okay? It's a market price of the stock, not the option. So we're going to do stock plus or minus premium. Super duper easy. There's no reason you should ever get this wrong once you get this. Stock plus or minus premium, all you're going to do is look. If they're the same, you add. If they're different, you subtract. So in this one, it's a buy and a buy. They're the same. So this is going to be 52. Okay? Because it's a 50 plus 2. 50 plus 2. It's a 50 plus 2 because they're the same action. The same you add, different you subtract. Maybe you write that down. Same you add, different you subtract. Okay. That's that. Now let's jump over to this one. The greeny. This is a covered call. Well, it's going to be stock plus or minus the two every time. So how do we decide? Well, it's different, right? So they're different. The same you add, different you subtract. So since they're different, you're going to subtract. So you're going to do 50 minus two. That's going to be 48 break even. Hope that helps a little bit. We're not done. So that's it. So remember, the same you add, different you subtract. Get this stuck in your head. And it's always the stock, not the strike, Okay. Now, let's go down to this one. This is a protective call. The red one is a protective call. Well, this is a buy and a sell. And remember, stock and an option. Doesn't matter. Stock, option, if you do them together. So now, this is a protective call. The buy and a sell, so you're going to do 50 minus 4. So here it's going to be 46. 50 minus 4. 46. That's going to be your break even. Because it's minus, it's a buy and a sell. Over here, this is the covered put. Now, look, again, it's stock plus or minus the premium. How do we know if we add or subtract? Well, they're the same. Two sells, two buys, you add. A buy and a sell, you subtract. So I'm going to do 50 plus 4. So my break even on this one is 54 break even. So really easy. If, if, you, have a, if you buy stock and buy a put, you're going to add because it's two buys. If you buy stock and sell a call, which is the only really options, since it's a buy and a sell, you're going to subtract. If you sell short and buy a call, that's it's a buy and a sell, you're going to subtract. I almost screwed myself up. And then if it's two cells, a short a covered put, short stock and short a put, you're going to add. More to come. We got more to do. I got the straddles and spreads, baby. Okay, so this is a, these are straddles, right? So we've already done the hedging. We did the basics, super easy, add or subtract. Now, these are straddles. So how do we know that they're straddles? Well, it's a call and a put, and remember, they're the same. So the action is the same. Oh, so remember, that means we're going to add something, right? So the action is the same, and the options are different, right? So a call and a put. Buy buy or a call and a put and sell sell. That's a straddle. So unlike a spread, which is um, buy a call sell a call or buy a put sell a put. Always remember, all straddles are called straddles either long or short. 
based on their actions. And spreads are called call spreads or put spreads based on their options. So let's do this. So first of all, since we see two buys are the same, both are the same, we know we're doing something. So we're adding. Whenever you have two options, you got to do something with the premiums. So we're going to add them up. Boom, boom, seven there. That's it, okay? So there's our seven. That means we spent $7. So we need to make that back. So you're going to do call up. Again, just like before, call up. That's going to be plus the whole seven. Remember, we don't really care about this. Because when they do, when my traders call me up and they want to do a spread or a straddle, whatever, they don't say, oh, buy one at four and buy one at three. They go, I want to buy the 50 straddle at seven. They don't say each one. They don't care if it's five and two, four and three, six and one, one and six. All they know is they want to spend seven bucks. So they make the seven. They got to make that back. So we're going to do call up. So up seven. So that's going to be 57. And down is going to be 50. Down is 43. So you add to the call. You subtract in the put every time. Just a little bonus. I don't really say I was going to do this, but since this is a long straddle, buy a call is bullish. Buy a, pull, buy a put is bearish. So we want the money to, we want the market price to go above 57 or below 43. That's it on that. Okay. That's the one. <clears throat> now let's do the short straddle. Okay, so it's the same. You want to since it's the same, we're going to add, right? Well, that's interesting. Ooh, what's that disappear? Ooh, disappear. Okay. So now, so we have a short straddle. We want we want stability, not volatility. So since it's two of the same, same, we're going to add them up. We're going to add these up. That's going to be seven. Also, sounds familiar. And remember, same thing. It doesn't matter whether it's a long straddle or short straddle. You do fifty plus seven, so that's fifty-seven. And you do 50 minus seven, because that's the put, that's 43. Same thing. Now, and here's the thing. So whenever I set these up, I always put the call on top and put on bottom so I can remember. So in case you can't remember if it's volatile or stability, selling a call is bearish, selling a put is bullish. So you want the money inside, anything below 43 or above 57 is a loss. Anything inside is a gain. That's the break even. And remember, what does break even mean? Break even is always where you neither make nor lose money. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, so now we're on to spreads. I got all four spread choices, okay? Break even, and I like to do it the same way. So first thing I do, you got to net them out, right? They're all going to be different. They're all different numbers, but let's see. How do we know what we do with the premiums? Well, since it's a buy and a sell, we're going to subtract. So this is going to be four. This is going to be three. This is going to be three. It's going to be four. All right, I didn't even mean to do that, but that works out, okay? So now, this is how I do it. You can always say, listen, if it's a call spread, you add to the bottom one. If it's a put spread, you add to the top. That's easy to remember. But I want to show you the picture of how I do it. I call it the road, and I do it in my bigger spread stuff. But here, I draw a road, and I always put the higher strike on top and the lower on bottom. Doesn't matter. Call it put. Doesn't matter. So there's my road. Everything happens inside this freaking range, right? Okay. So how do I do break even? So if it's a call, I add. So I add this. I don't worry about this anymore. I add the net. It's always the net. I never care about the these big numbers anymore once I set this up. So if it's a call spread, I add to the bottom. So if it's four, in this one, my break even would be 54. Okay, that, that should work. In this one, this is a call spread. I, so why, do, why is it 54? Well, the lower one is 50. I'm going to add the net. So 54 is my break even here on this one. The lower strike again is here. It's down here at three. So my break even on this one is 53. Okay, that works. Now on the put spread, remember, call up, put down. So on the calls, I add to the lower. On the puts, I subtract from the higher. Okay? Boom. Now, you can remember the other acronyms. I'm just showing you a way to do it to get everything done. So now if it's a put spread, just subtract from the higher. 60 minus three, your break even is going to be 57. And on a put spread here, it's four. The 60s are higher. You're going to do subtract 54. You're going to leave 56. Okay? That's where that goes. Okay? So the, the whole point is, if it's a call spread, you're going to add to the lower. And if it's a put spread, you're going to subtract from the higher. Don't worry about anything else. Just remember, it's the net, 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 not the fulls. Okay? Okay. I hope that helped a little bit. Very quick. Just break evens. Maybe a five or ten minute video. I have no idea how long it is. But I'm just showing you how to get break evens because that's how you start. If you like what I'm doing, Join my membership and we'll get going. We have a lot more stuff to do. I do it definitely different than everyone else. Y'all, I'm going to...